Alrighty, so, uh, finally in the dev room, uh, or, I don't know if you can call this the dev room, I forget what it's actually called, but this is the ending room where, uh, have a little bit like a museum of everything that's so far been put into the game that, uh, was not in the game before, uh, like, between the animations, the new characters, and even this, uh, even this, uh, little pond full of the shrimp particles that were in the base game, but they weren't actually in the base game, they were deactivated, and Cryro and her team made it better. I actually made mention to her that these should be in the dev room because, uh, because I really like this is like one of my favorite effects in the game because I like the blue I like how the particles just move around like they're supposed to be like shrimp or like not like fireflies that move around slowly or whatever but actually like fast moving shrimp so really like that uh, if you want to know something this is a purple text box this is a blue text box, this is a purple text box, and this is a green text box. Now you probably can guess why these are here, because each area is going to have uh, different, different looking text boxes. Also now that I think about it, wait, did you, now that I think about it, did you remove the middle text box in the, like, that was like across the screen. I just realized that. I don't think that was there at the end. I know why you removed it if you did. I just realized it. I can't believe I didn't point anything out, but it was a serious moment. Uh, a lot of people thought that was a glitch and it was not supposed to be glitch. That was supposed to be like theatric moment of the dialogue where the text was in the middle and it was like talking to you the player Nico talking to you the player in more of an intense feeling because you or the player talks in the middle so Nico is directly talking with you in a serious manner but anyways a sitting sprite of four Corvus this is used once what do you want me to say? <laughs> Starlin. I know nothing about Starlin. They exist, though. They're made by Krob. Kozak. Unspecified age, male. Created by Calamus, the user, not the character. Info. There is quite a bit of lore, but a lot of it is from a personal roleplay between two people, and this is being written at 4 a.m., so that's really all I can say. Chirp. Age 29, female character by Elliot or and Mallow Hawk or Mallow Hawk, sprite by Maeve. Info Chirp is the single mother of Quill, often being really short-tempered since Bane left home and the sun disappeared. Sometimes she loses her mind taking care of Quill. Apart from all those moments, the feathery mum is loving and passionate about everyone she cares about. Bruiser. He, they, is an age? Mug isn't available right now. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, Bruiser is made by Mug Die. Sprite by Maeve. Info is a robot and friends with Magpie? Mug, I wish you were here. Also, we never used robot. Uh, brackets on them. Oops. Um, actually, you should have asked me. I, I don't know any information personally, but I think I might know a friend that, uh, <laughs> that would have known more about them, <laughs> considering they are good friends with Mug, so, yeah. Whoops! <laughs> Faraday Rose, old last name Finch, female, age 7, birth date 
uh, 10, 11. Although with how, uh, <laughs> thinking about it, with how uh, dates are internationally, it's like, is that October 11th or is that November 11th? <laughs> made by Hazel, Sprite made by Maeve. Info, Terra Day is a happy little girl whose energy never seems to end. She has a place in the ruins she goes off to play on. A very old and very out of tune toy piano which she still plays very beautifully and no one else knows about it a true child prodigy which uh, one of the bonus songs on the band camp uh, actually has a song that sh is supposed to be by Terra Day so if you want to look that look, look at the band camp I should have a link in the uh, description <laughs> It's free, so you should be looking. Moxie Rose, female, robot age 3, represented, represented age 24, birthday, okay, December 21st, okay, so it is 1221, which is Solstice Day. Made by Hazel, Sprite by Maeve. Info, a robot built to replicate a glenfolk by her maker, Hazel Rose. She was tamed by another robot who she fell in love with. Uh, Bit, which I know as Fracturus. Moxie assumed the life of a Glenfolk and raised two children with him alongside an adopted uncle Nevermore. Corvus Rose, old last name, Corax. Male, age 17, birthday... Uh, January 2nd. Hmm. Made by Hazel, Sprite by Maeve, Info, Corvus ran away from home when he was just 10 years old to live in the refuge, and then adopted by Moxie, along with his little sister Teraday, who are related by blood by their mother. But do not share a father. Corvus's father was human, but they never got to meet them. He is left with his mother's scarf and his father father's cloak and took up petty thievery to survive. Nevermore Rose, male, age 18, birthday, February 19th, made by Hazel and Burbo Hex, sprite by Maeve. Info, musician and mechanic, Nevermore Rose, real last name Smith, is the adopted uncle of Corvus and Teraday Rose, living in a shack doubled as a repair shop between the Glen and Ruins. He lives with an a tamed security drone named Rusty, which he repaired with mostly parts of a Roomba. <laughs> Hence, uh, <laughs> Nico's, is your friend a Roomba? <laughs> He still, however, spends most of his time with the family. He also knows how to play most guitars, but prefers bass, as it's easier for him. Quill, 11. Female, birthday... 05? <laughs> I'm gonna guess that should have been October 10th, or October 5th, not October 10th, October 5th. Character by Elliot Mallow Hawk, Sprite by Maeve. Info, this bird girl has never had any brothers or sisters and doesn't know about any uncles, un aunts, or cousins. But she suspects Magpie as her uncle. Hmm. Quill's father, Vane, passed away in the Baron's mines after a passageway collapsed. Aww. Quill also has two sheep and a ram in her family, though we only show one in the game, which we saw. They're named Frenzy and Shrimpy, the ram being named Mr. Magi, <laughs> due to him being scarred on the eye as well. Aww. Quill is Quill also is one of the only Glen folk who know how to swim. Oh, interesting. Angel or Angle Column, female, age 65, birthday, October 1st, made by Hazel, sprite by Maeve. Okay, it is Angel. 
Info Angel in her old age lives alone. She used to have a partner lover named Josie Aganis who has a who has since passed away. Due to poor health and medical care in the Glen, they don't live to be very old. Look into that birth date. What? 10 1. Hmm. And finally, the box Glen Folk. A gener generic worker sprite. Cool. What can you say about Corvus sitting in bed? Oh, I could have been playing the music. I wonder. Okay, so these two are the elevator music. Aw, you can't play it while... Also, look at that, look at that description at the top. <laughs> so... And then there's also... Okay, I don't know why, I'm guessing it has to do with something weird. <clears throat> like, you can't play it while you're looking. But there is one thing I want to say about Dead Zone. Uh, Dead Zone, there, I was tempted to play the uh, beta version of the song uh, during this playthrough by switching file names and stuff. But I've been, oops. I've been kind of, like I said, I was kind of tired. Like, I couldn't record last night even though I wanted to. And, uh, yeah, I forgot actually <laughs> until seeing that uh, cassette player. But there was, <clears throat> there is something I can say about Dead Zone. Uh, the beta song, which I've been calling Beta Zone, uh... The difference, it starts off like normal, but uh, halfway through the song, you start hearing like a far off guitar riff go on, which really like that version. They did say down the line they will release that version, uh, but right now it's not available. But yeah, really do like that version of the song. Like, uh,. They're saying they're going to release it in, like, a Lost Tracks sort of uh, OST, so be sure to look forward to that. Let's see. Take a look in your awesome file. Yep, I know that. And we've seen both of... We've seen all of these, but it's cool that you got a place to check that out. A generic robot holding a box sprite. Pulling. Pulling. Error. <laughs> the sprite is an... Oh, here's the, uh, here's the trivia. The sprite is an unused refuge robot from the base game called Lampbot. They can be found way out of bounds in the refuge sky tied to the old demo of One Shot. This big fella has been repurposed as a security robot for the Barons. So, nice to know. Very nice to know, and I see that was another thing that was changed, was uh, this robot right over here used to be right here when I was looking, but then they put these books here, which 
Makes more sense. I am fixing this picture. Also, 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 I am repurposed. A repurposed refuge robot sprite that Gryro thought would worked for some reason. SMH. <laughs> Lillian Joner McGulloch. Age 25, female, made by Hazel, Sprite by Maeve. Lily is a stupid... <laughs> nice. Has a very bubbly personality that never seems to waver even when her pro projects fail. She just writes down her failures and tries again. She is the tallest of her classmates and her group of co-workers. Samantha St. Clair. Age 40, fraternal twin uh, to Dot Joshua, female, made by Hazel, sprite by Maeve. Samantha is cautious and observant and very social adept. She reads way too far into people's reactions, but her intentions are good. Cool. No, it's not you. Rosa Mins, age 22, female, made by Maeve, sprite by Maeve, smiley face. Info, a generally hard worker, almost always tired due to spending too much time awake, and because of that, she has developed an addiction to coffee, hmm. which generally makes her a lot more hyperactive. It's a coffee break! <laughs> Maybe too hyperactive. But don't let her coffee moods trick you into believing she is crazy. She's actually a generous and kind person beneath the hyperactivity of coffee flowing through her systems. Joshua St. Clair, age 40, fraternal twin to Samantha, male, made by Maeve, sprite by Maeve, info, a fraternal twin to Samantha, he is a very reserved personality and, is n and it's not easy to get a reaction out of him. Aaron once tasered him, hmm, and the most he got out of his was, or this, was the involuntary muscle flex from the electricity. <laughs> Nevertheless, Aaron is intimidated by him. Probably with good reason. You know who is not here? Speaking of... Where's Tintin? Tin? <laughs> James Watson, age 23, male, made by Hazel and Maeve, Sprite by Maeve. Info, his magnanim, magnanimous was the double A battery. Oh, <laughs> not so impressive to us, but in a world that is cased into darkness, it might just be exactly what they need in this time of need. True. Liam Grayson, Grayson King, age 22, male, made by Hazel, Sprite by Maeve. There is some kind of interesting stuff with Grayson. Grayson is a focused and motivated and independent in his own work. His is in the possess. His is in the possess of oh process. I'm guessing of creating a robot that he plans to host in his inn. He will be known as Mr. Gray. Is that the robot that I'm thinking of? There's an Easter egg. There's fun values in this game, kind of like Undertale, uh, where uh, pretty much there is a percentage of certain things happening, like the uh, fox that's uh, in the fox that's uh, what is it? The fox that is Alula's can turn blue to look like Cryro. Um, where Terra Day is running around, you can see both uh, Alula and Quill running around too a little later. Um, and there's a few other fun values. Grayson, from what I remember, has a certain fun value that uh, lets him turn into a different NPC, believe it or not. If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, I. I swear I remember it was Grayson that could change, but I don't know if that's actually, if that actually exists or not, but that's what I remember. Eric Lloyd, they, them, age 30, made by Maeve, sprite by Maeve. Eric works hard and long on his tasks, both an early riser and late to bed. 
Hmm. Wow. They make the best coffee, hands down. Well, that explains why they are very tired. And finally, this douche. <laughs> Aaron Matthew Fraser. Age 27, male. Made by Maeve. Sprite by Maeve. Despite being 4'9 or 1.5 meters tall, he holds a lot of chaotic energy. Hmm, really? Both in his personality and his tasers. <laughs> the, group might, the group may pick on him from time to time about it, but they still really care about for him. Even though he has a taser that he will shock anyone with. 1010. <laughs> I got a present for ya! <laughs> says Phosphor Research Capsule contains shrimp samples. Please insert prop floppy disk. <laughs> Give me a floppy disk and uh, just let me play more Ed's Challenge. Bonus level. Phosphor Research Capsule contains shrimp samples. Yeah, these are all made. They were not in the base game. And then we got Blip. Welcome, Luke. This is the gallery. ID 251. I hope you have enjoyed your stay. In this room, there are lots and lots of things you, for you to see, including the soundtrack for the game, as well as sprites like me. And sketches, too. Noise. And that is it in here. Uh, okay, I cannot investigate those okay what is actually what happened to the words what didn't there used to be words that said dev room okay so this is a lot shop tests don't mind them yes there were shop tests look yeah <laughs> Buy a light bulb. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Light bulb, television remote, torch, basement key, sponge, concave lens, photo of Nico, and then another photo of Nico. Lens, gloves, fridge magnet, empty syringe, circle valve, can of soda. Can I buy the can of soda and smash it? <laughs> oh, man. And that's money, so if you go to it, you get money. So, if I do this a lot, you get a lot of money. Uh... She... That broke. I broke the game with that. Yeah, this is all stuff that will not be in the final game unless they put a actual dev room into it. But let's uh, continue trying to go through it a little bit. I'm pretty sure... Let's see. Unless the game wants to break. Let's see. Well... What happens if I try to do this, and then try to restart it? Frick. It broke. Well, damn. Let me just show you how freaking fast this, uh, let's show how fast this restarts. It's gonna Probably boop, boop, boop. You're supposed to be stop and restart. Like, why are you restarting so long? It shouldn't take this long to restart. Of course it's going to go slow to restart when I freaking try to show off how fast it restarts. Okay, there's something up. Maybe it's because one shot should have closed. <laughs> um, I'm going, I'm about ready to just shut it off because if it's just restarting, it's not wanting to do anything.
Oh look, it 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 restarted. Look, yeah. <laughs> okay. Surprised it doesn't show the icon when it's uh on, but okay. Oh. And there it is. And there we go. See? Freaking fast as hell when it freaking doesn't want to restart for 20 minutes for whatever reason. I don't know why it did that. And because I'm not connected to Steam. Okay, give me the two time password. Uh, that was the wrong thing. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's try that again and not interact with whatever the hell I tried to interact with. I think it was that. I'm afraid to touch stuff. Oh! Interesting. I can be the thief. E. Oh no, this room. Oh no, <laughs> not this room. <laughs> Don't leave me alone with her mom, please. Okay, that's enough of that. Lights up. Lights out. Lights up. Mirror dimension has been shifted. God is angry. Yeah, this makes the the reflections kind of weird. Can I go back? Can I please go back? Oh. Okay. I guess I cannot go back. Um. Let's see. I don't know how to use the ref the real load. Okay, cool. What's this? Nothing. That is nothing. This is all. I'm stuck. Real load, please. <laughs> Uh, blip? Eh? Um, what's this do? I don't like that stupid error. I am going to, uh... Do this instead. Hopefully that made it so it doesn't... Okay, cool. Cool. We're good. I don't even remember what I pressed before. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was these. Does this one break? <sighs> okay. Do not press the debug question marks. They just break the game, Luke. Sucks because... I still have one more left. Might as well press it because you never know. It might enable something that might be very cool or it might. Huh? Hold on. Something is in my pocket. What's that wasn't there before? Cool. Nice. Okay, you got these. This is for the Glens map. This is pretty much the Glens map. This is the Baron's map, which as you can see is a lot bigger. Oh. 
<laughs> they got rid of the uh, refuge map, which it used to just say no at it. <laughs> Jesus, that freaking startled me. Welcome to Chris. Welcome to Qui the Switch's corner of bullcrap. He compares stuff here. Luke, did you see it too? Yes. He looks... Oh, this... Nico. Let me see a lot. Do not mash the B button because... Uh, it might break the game on accident. Okay. What's this? Music off. Can I go back? Yeah, look. Why was that? Did that dis That's weird. That's really weird. Let's see. Okay, so it's just that. Well, it's better than having no background music. True. Okay, so... Did I do this? That does nothing. Transfers player to a map via ID and XY. I do not know the XYs. Look, it's, uh, it's Blight. Blight's evil twin. E... Damn it! Okay. Uh, uh, what did I just do? I broke the game. I really broke the game. I don't know what the hell I did. I... I didn't even mean to do whatever I did. So the only way to do that is, uh, let's see. Where is, uh... One shot. There's one shot. This has just been one hell of a ride, hasn't it? Like, me having to go to the frickin' task manager. Oh! Okay, well... That's fine, I guess. Put... What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Get that music back on. Get that music back on. Okay, do not talk with Moxie. Ew. Ugh. Can I, like... No, I gotta either wait for the credits, or be very impatient and just do this. I think I'm appearing online, thankfully, so no one cares that I'm going on and off Steam. <laughs> okay. Was it Proto, or was it Watcher I talked to? I feel like it was Proto, but... God! Freaking dang it. What's what's the watcher say? This is why I appear offline and why I prefer not being online. <laughs> Cuz I do this kind of crap and probably pisses people off if I if they see me go on and off. Okay, what does watcher do? Loading your save. Okay, thanks for loading my save. It's saving my time apparently. Uh, Blight does absolutely nothing. E. Oh. I am now Quill. <laughs> and this is a dead map. Well, alrighty then. And now I'm Quill. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. Railroad. Okay. 
What's the bed do? Dreams. Oh. I feel like if I do do number three, it's gonna br it's not gonna break, but it's going to be very uh, spoilery. So, spoilers. Or there's no. Or there's none. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if it's going to load. Oh, that's not right. Luke, I'm the thief. <laughs> I'm the freaking thief. It was all, it's a nightmare. Um Get me back. Get me out of here. Oh no. Oh no. I broke the game. I broke the game. I think that is it that I'm going to show because uh I'm pretty sure I'm stuck. Yep. I should have made a save file. Oh well. I think uh, 37 minutes of screwing the frick around and showing how messed up the dev room is. Or, uh, yeah, that area, I should say, is pretty, uh, pretty funny how broken it is. But at the same time, you should understand because that was made like, or that was given literally like, uh, probably less than 24 hours before release. Like, it used to be way different than what it is now, but still, they worked on it in less for less than 24 hours to try to make it okay for uh, people to do it. And as you can see, it breaks the game, so... No worries for me, though. I don't mind. I got some saves. I don't have a save that I should have kept as the dev room save, because that would save me time, but I'm not going to do any more. I think I have seen enough and if I want to see more I'll see it on my own time if you all want to see more go down in the description play this yourself and uh, make sure you make a safe backup save because the the backup saves are an app data roaming one shot am so uh, yeah make a backup save that is my word of advice I still really like this song um but yeah, with that, hope you all enjoyed, and I finally am done with uh, One Shot Aftermath for now. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you all later. I will try to make uh, more videos as time goes on. I actually have a game in mind that I want to play that comes out on Christmas. I don't know when I will record it, because Christmas is Christmas. <laughs> but uh, we will see when that is so take it easy everyone